For making this website using Gutenberg, Spectra and Spectra 1 theme, I have already installed and activate WordPress on my server. So here you can see currently I am using default WordPress theme. I haven't installed and activate any plugins or any themes here yet. Let's go back to our dashboard and here you can see the dashboard is completely blank. The first thing after installing WordPress, you have to follow some steps or some uh, settings. First of all, I am navigating to the posts area and I'll be deleting all the default posts and pages which is not necessary. Also here you can see the trash file you can remove from the trash file as well. Go to the pages, select all of them. Or you can only select the sample page you can keep the privacy policy because uh, it will require to use privacy policy later on however it is not a production site this is just for taste purpose but i'll i'd like to keep this one it's a, a good practice i would say let's click on trash here which is only sample go to the trash and delete permanently navigate to the settings and permalinks Make sure you are using or you have selected the post name. By default, it's selected post name here, which is correct. Now let's navigate to the all pages from here. And I'll be creating. I'm just created a new tab. I'm just you can also on a right click here and you can simply click open link in a new tab. But uh, you can also use your keyboard shortcut. I'm holding the command key and press add new and as you can see it just opened a new tab if you're using windows you can use control from your keyboard and click on here to open new tab in new page so why i am keeping this tab here because i have to always go back to the dashboard and it's a good practice to keep the dashboard here on the left side and open new page on the right side it will help you to organize everything so I'm going to install, I'm sorry, I'm going to create a new page called home. Click publish and another page called blog. If you take a look at the design, you can see there are several pages. So I'm not going to create all of the pages here because for this tutorial, I'll be using, I'll show you few uh, specific page like for this landing page and blog single blog and contact page that's it so now let's create another page by clicking here on just click over here add new page type con i'm sorry okay it will pop up again because i'm using 2024 theme i'm not i haven't installed the spectra one theme yet now type here contact so it's time to reload our all pages here again and here you can see we have created these three page now let's navigate to the settings and click reading click here static page and select the home page and post page from here Click save changes. Now if you visit your website home page, here you can see uh, the link which is the primary domain which is displaying the home page and some other information here. Now it's time to install and activate necessary plugin and theme. Let's navigate to the dashboard. Click appearance and i'm going to install a theme called spectra one and search here spectra one click install and click activate so now when i install the spectra one theme it just pop up and recommending us to install a spectra builder which is a spectra block editor 
so basically the spectra block editor will enhance in the default block editor so if you haven't watched my spectra uh, block tutorial you can simply navigate to my channel and click on playlist you can see spectra page builder tutorial here more than three hours and here you can see the complete e-commerce website from figma to uh, using spectra and astra theme and also this is the default fsc theme so all of them are really helpful if you haven't completed the default block editor series tutorial you should complete them first before uh, watching this video because uh, there are lots of things inside the default block you have to understand them uh, perfectly to use the block editor uh, in most uh, ways and the most perfect way in your website now let's go back click install spectra builder so uh, after like I'm right now I'm creating this uh, video in April 26 so maybe in the future uh, the appearance and other settings might be different or in updated version but if you haven't watched uh, this uh, pop-up here then you have to navigate to plugins and I have already installed the spectra but you haven't installed and activate you can simply click add new plugin from here and install the spectra from here manually because if spectra team changes the design or appearance of the dashboard you have to do it so as you can see it's activated now we have successfully installed and activated the Spectra theme. Let's visit our website, open a new tab. And here you can see how it looks like. In our next part, I'll be creating other sections and other settings.